Hi guys, I've only got four um, components to my urine analysis series left, so I'm going to really try and quickly get through those for you guys um, and try and do a bit of teaching. Um, it's been a long time since I've done these, so bear with me. So today we're going to be talking about protein. Now as you know, protein um, is used in the body, it comes from the diet, so usually the kidneys um, filter the protein back into the bloodstream to be used. However, in some situations, um, the kidneys might not do this, therefore you have protein in the urine. And I'm going to explore um, with you some of the reasons why that might be. So one of the main reasons that protein will be in the urine is because it's of infection. Um, obviously, you have capillaries um, in your kidneys, and so all the waste um, is filtered out through those capillaries into your urethra, into your bladder, and out through um, your urine. Um, however, if you have an uh, infection, say a kidney infection, um, and your compi capillaries become inflamed, that can make those holes bigger, which means the protein has enough room um, to come out of, of those capillaries and into the urine. So that's um, one reason that you might have protein in the urine, and usually the most um, common reason. Also, raised BP, blood pressure, can also um, cause... Um, protein in the urine and again it's because of um, these capillaries and forcing, um, if it, the blood pressure is high and the pressure is high, it's forcing the protein really quickly through the glomerulus in the kidneys, the blood sorry, through the glomerulus in the kidneys that contains all that protein and not all that protein, some of that protein will then be pushed through the capillaries and into the urine instead of going through um, the bloodstream. But as I say, the most common reason for protein in the blood is infection. Um, and that's it really, easy as that. See you in my next video.